he doesn't take a lot of damage. And that's it's hard to really engage onto her. But we are seeing Heimerdinger a little bit too far forward. We'll Donger's see if he can gonna get the kill. Go in. Not going to get the kill quite yet. But last embrace will come down on the Donger. Not going to get the kill there. That was a really, really oh. good shield from the rune choice for the Donger here. Going to force the Ziggs to flash on out. Also force the barrier out of the Donger here. As Evelyn is pathing topside, she is six now. Kayla is pushing in, looking to kind of back on out or win the poke game here. Kled's going to pop the ult, going to go in onto the Kale. Kale does have ult. Puts the ult down a little bit early. Not going to quite get the damage that you want out of it. But that will be a kill there for the Evelyn on the top side. And on the bot side, set almost getting chunked out all the way by the Akathian Rain. Yeah, so overall, they first rates does get a kill in the top side onto the Evelyn. Exactly who you really want your goal to be on in this situation, I'd imagine. And so that is definitely very nice voice seeker there. It looks like they're gonna dive straight onto the set. Set has the haymaker. We're gonna flash on in. Leona gonna flash in using the stopwatch. Avoid the tower aggro. And that's a very nice kill there. I curiosity Samira is low. Has Samira ulti. has ulti. She is level six. She's not gonna quite jump on in quite yet here. But they're just gonna get on out with the blast cone, and that will be a clean one zero in the bot lane here. And I curiosity and I nuclear gecko are winning now. They have a winning bot lane here, as Cloud Slayer will start the rift in the top lane. And this is starting to look awfully like the first series in the bot lane. You know, Curiosity and Nuclear Gecko not having a fun time in game one, but game two able to turn it around and you know ultimately win that game. Uh, we'll see if they go that far this time, but you know it's definitely a better look in the bot lane. Although Samira is still up in CS, so you can't say she's doing too bad either, considering the uh, unfortunate early plays. Yeah, right now, uh, Kaisa is about 800 gold ahead of the Samira. Mid lane is about even. Donger is about up 100, 100 gold here. The Leo is about up about 900, but that mm, will set. be a permafrost onto the set. Set's going to get stunned up. He does have the Haymaker here, but he will get stunned up. Going to flash on out. Solar Flare onto the Zig. Zig is going to get slowed up, and Zenith Blade is going to come down. Leo is taking up the tower, but she's going to back on out. Permafrost coming down, and it looks like... Wow! Sejuani! Oh, the Winions get the okay. kill here, and Leo will get the kill with the Ignite on you know, top lane. Ziggs here. Top lane, Kled will go in onto the Kale. Kale does not have ult for a while. That will be a trade flash here. Evelyn is hunting for somebody, but she is spotted out on that control ward here. Set and Samira are coming down for a bit of a little pinch here. Charm's going to come down onto the... Leona. Leona's going to get charmed up. Last caress coming down, taking her down. She apparently had a shutdown gold. And oh, she had a lot of shutdown <laughs> gold, too, actually. Leona had three kills there. That's a lot of gold going into the Evelyn, and first or eighth, turning it around, got a nice play in the mid lane, ended up being a one-for-one, one. and the kill onto Leona, and almost a kill onto the Kale. Things are looking up. Yep, that kill, last shutdown on the Leona will bring the gold lead up. It'll close the gold lead, but it's still about 1,000 gold for the side of Nefarious NXT here, as the next Drake spawning will be an Infernal, which is still pretty, pretty good for a team like this. <laughs> Evelyn is topside. They don't know quite yet. They're going to try to gank bot lane here, try to get a little bit of something. Kiel does not have TP, but Kled will soon. So we're going to have to see where they, how they play this out and try to get this Drake here. And neither team playing perfectly around the dragon with the Evelyn farming in the top side and Heimerdinger backing right as the dragon spawned. But it does look like Nefarious is going to have control over the area. Kled's even going to just TP top. It doesn't look like they're going to contest this. And even if they do, they have... The Sejuani does have the Rift Herald to draw their attention elsewhere while they take the dragon. And it looks like she's not even going to have to use it. Yeah, it looks like... They're not going to keep track of the Evelyn very well, but she looks like she will get spotted out. Going to get pings here. Leona will get seen on that ward there. Donger's going to go straight in onto the Ziggs. Going to miss the Electron Storm <clears throat> Grenade there. 
But as the Evelyn starts up her bot side here, they're going to try to look for to clear out mid, try to drop the rift and get a couple of plates before it despawns. It looks like Nefarious NXT is going to start rotating towards this Drake here and yep. start it up as the Rift Herald will start to fall here. Zig is going to get chunked out a little bit. Set is coming by. He has the Showstopper. Are Everyone's they going to contest to... That's a Super Mega Inferno Bomb. Not going to quite steal it, but that's a two-man face breaker. Send the Blade going go down onto the... Ca Samir. Samir is going to get stunned up before she can do anything here. Haymaker coming down. Not going to quite get the kill. Permafrost also coming down. Set will get stunned up. Leona getting another kill here. Top lane. The Kale is still doing her thing. She's just farming up as long as she can. And that will be a two for zero and the Drake for the side of Nefarious NXT. Yeah, and the team was just not on the same page. The Evelyn was just farming the blue buff while Dragon was going down and Set was ulting in and they were nowhere to be found. That was a big miscommunication that cost them an extra two kills when the Dragon was basically already going down. Uh, you know, you can blame whoever you want for that one, but it just shows the team, you know, it is still a uh, it is still an amateur team, not always on the same page. Well, it looks like bot lane here. You're going to look for in. an engage hey, face breaker. Not going to quite land here onto the Kaisa. Evelyn was topside, wasting a little bit of time, but she is still up in CS, trying to get a little bit of a peekaboo kill onto the Kale here. Kale's almost level 11. Uh, she's about to get a pretty strong spike, and this Kled's window to really do a lot in this top lane matchup is closing. Mid lane, though, we might see Heimerdinger dead. Oop, Donger's gonna... Evelyn's gonna go in. Last Caress, not gonna quite land, but she's gonna go straight into all the turrets. That is why you don't gank a Donger. It is so hard to try to kill Heimerdinger when he has all of his turrets and his ulto. Xenoblade's gonna go down. That's another double stun there onto the Samira. Samira still has her ult here. Not gonna quite get the style points, but they're gonna get the kill onto the Kaisa. Kaisa gets shut down. Shield Bow is doing its work, keeping her alive. That's a little satchel charge onto Leona, knocking her back. Mm. See who gets the kill here. Super Mega Inferno Bomb comes down here. Samira should get the kill here, and she will. <clears throat> Samira getting two for zero killing both bottom bot laners for the side of nefarious nxt yeah one thing we haven't really been seeing in either of these series is uh the bot lanes doing anything but fighting bot lane you know we're seeing a lot a lot of skirmishes a lot of that has to do with just the leona you know a very aggressive bot laner can get off a lot of nice engages in that 2v2 but you know, I'd like to see them try something different. You know, with this Rift Herald coming up, I'd like to see Samira set go, go top lane, go get this Herald. But, you know, with the Kale being real strong right now, with the Ziggs roaming bot, Heimer is going to be in the area, and it looks like this Herald is going to be pretty much uncontested for the side of Nefarious NXT. And we'll see how they use that. I assume they'll use it to crack mid or bot turret pretty quickly. But they have a lot of options. Looks like first or eighth are pinging bot side. They're going to four-man bot try to shut down this Leona and this <clears throat> Kaisa here. Kaisa still has the killer instinct. So it's going to be very hard to kind of shut her down here with the amount of mobility that she has. Evelyn's going to get a cheeky little bushwhack here. Seth's going to flash on four, get a face breaker, showstopper backwards right here. But killer instinct is going to bring her back. She's going to get the charm. Samira is going to eat right wow. back in, right back out. And that'll be a clean kill there onto the Kaisa in the bot lane as they try to knock down this turret. But Sedge is coming up. You only use the Q to get over the wall here. Just going to oh, back up the wall. The Donger part. is going to get collapsed upon here. Does not have the flash, but there's a TP onto the big turret here. That's a very nice ultimate on the Kale, but Samir is getting collapsed upon. Gonna put the ult out. The uh, healing is definitely still there. Sedge gonna flash on forward, and the ult's gonna come back out again for the Samir, and she's gonna heal right back up again. Oh, Kale does fight. get a double kill on the other side, but Kled is gonna ult right on, and he's gonna flash, out, flash forward, gonna get the joust in, and that would be a kill right back to failed Asian, and that will be a five for two. For the site of first or eighth. Yeah, that's the second fight in a row that the Samira has gotten really low, but they weren't able to take her down. There aren't any grievous wounds yet 
on the side of Nefarious NXT. And Samira is making him pay for it. Kaisa getting a little bit too big for her britches here. Curiosity going to have to run away as the mid-tower falls. That is actually the first turret of the game, believe it or not. Last time, last game at this point, the game was already over. But a 1k gold lead now for the side of first or eight. Yep, looks like it will be a Cloud Soul this time around. Nefarious NXT has the dropped the Herald mid here. Going to break that turret down. So somebody's going to have to be forced to answer that for now. They're going to try to get... They're going to get Pryo onto this Cloud Drake here. And that should put them at slow point. In. Super Mega Infernal Bomb coming down onto three here. Leona's going to get chunked up. But Solar Flare comes down. That's a kill onto the set. Samira's in the back line. Getting a lot of this big ult down here. But Sejuani will secure the Drake. Samira is still alive in the back line. But she's going to get taken down. Wild rushing in. But that's the last crash of the two. And that will be an execute. And that will be a 5 for 3 ace here. For the side of 1st or 8th. Yeah, but of course the bright side is. Uh, Cloud Slayer was able to get the cloud drake so that is sole point for the side of nefarious nxt but that's the second ace in a row for first or eighth and you know this evelyn is starting to get really strong six kills now 700 gold bounty got that night harvester about to have that lich bane as soon as she takes it back might even get more on the top of it yeah i definitely want to see the nefarious trying to shut down this Evelyn as much as possible. In my opinion, I think the Evelyn is a lot more important to kill. Samira can kind of wait a little bit because you still have the Leona. You know, she can still whack her with the Shield of Daybreak and shut her down with that. But otherwise, it's very, very hard. Ooh, Set going to walk in here. Not going to quite get... Not going to face check him all the way here. Blue buff will get given to the Ziggs. So he can, you know, spam a little bit more. Yeah, Ziggs also getting pretty strong. Got another mid turret while uh, we were. I was fanboying over Mason's stellar jungle performance. But we do see the Kaisa building that Executioner's Calling. Does have the Grievous Wounds for the Samira and the Kled. Kled does a lot of healing as well, especially with his Gore Drinker. But they definitely are not weak. Like, these fights could still go either way, even though they are currently, or have been currently going to the side of first or eighth. It is. Not a guarantee that they will just keep winning fights, especially as this Kale continues to get stronger. Level 13 almost has that Rift Maker completed. She's going to get strong, but she might get collapsed on here. Looks like Kale is pushing up a little bit forward, but Set does not have Hex Flash, so he's not going to try it. Interestingly enough, Set did go Conquer, so he's going for more of a kind of do more damage and hit a little bit harder kind of build here. So Ziggs is bottling. He does not... He Oh, he does have TP. Charm comes down onto the, the Heimerdinger. They definitely know where she is. Pings come out in her general direction here. Trying to get a little bit of pry on the top lane. Try to bust down this top tower. You bust the top tower, you, this whole map blows completely wide open. Two to three in towers. And it is about a 2.5k gold lead for the side of first or eighth. Yeah, Ziggs is continuing his Demolition Derby. Just got that tower down in the bot lane. He's actually going for a potential Seraphs with this tier. That kind of surprises me. Um, we'll see exactly what order of items he's going towards since he looks like he's also building Horizon Focus with that Hextech Alternator. Might be going for something else that I'm not thinking of, but we will see. And so... He's definitely going to be really strong at three items, but until then, he's going to have a little bit of an awkward build path because Ooh, of that Looks tier. like Evelyn's oh, going to get on. caught out here. Going to get stunned up. Solar Fire coming down. Not going to quite land. Using the last caress, but man, that's a lot of damage. Super Mega Inferno Bomb blows up the Kaisa here, and they're going to keep chasing onto this Sejuani here. Haymaker coming down. So does the Permafrost. Evelyn's going into the back lane, and so is Samir. Inferno Trigger coming down. Going to get a double kill here. Sejuani forced the flash out before the charm fully procs here. <clears throat> and that will be a Baron on the table looking oh. for him. Kale's going to get chunked out a lot. Satchel Charge is going to put her out. Not going to quite get a hit her with the bomb here. Baron's on the table. One minute for Cloud Drake here. 
and that should be a completely uncontested Baron for the side of first or eighth. Well, they're definitely going to go for the Baron, but the Sejuani is back up. She might attempt to go for a steal. Looks like she's walking up, but no, nope, Cloud Slayer thinks better of it. They've got their eyes on a different prize. They want to get this dragon, and so it is going to be on to first or eighth. Once they get this Baron, they're going to have to reset and basically beeline it back towards Drake. Although, uh, Nefarious NXT maybe isn't taking advantage of this Baron take as much as they could, not really getting any vision around the dragon. And so this might be easier for first or eighth than initially expected. Yep, even... Kale does have that Rift Maker built up now, so she is continuing to get strong. Level 16 is only a couple levels away. But for, at the time being... Ooh, Leona's uh, going to go eight. in here. Facebreaker coming down to Leona. Leona's going to get the charm onto her. Not going to prank the charm quite yet. You're going to have to flash on out. And that looks like it might be just a completely uncontested Cloud Drake here. And their first Drake of the game for the side of 1st or 8th. As they rotate mid here, they're going to A-Ram at mid, try to break open this base here at about 24 minutes. Donger is top. He's pushing out the waves, trying not to give First Wraith anything to work with. Evelyn is going around, hunting, prowling, waiting to find somebody that is just face-checking bushes. All of them are really nice and squishy here to kill. And like I said, uh, I would have really liked to see Nefarious NXT... And, you know, try to get some control over Ooh, the Dragon Pit. And you saw how easy it was. Oh, that was that was a just a uh, Mega Inferno bomb. A lot of damage. But, yeah, you saw how easy it was for First or Eighth to just walk into the Dragon. There was no vision down, and they got it for free. So, um, Nefarious NXT not getting that Cloud Soul. But Charm comes down there's still plenty of Dragons. They have here. to live Ooh, to We're going to flash one. on it. Last Caress not going to quite get the kill here. But the turret does come down. Showstopper onto two. Haymaker onto one. That will be a clean kill there. Du Evelyn getting a double kill. Sejuani ult coming down a little bit too late. That's the last little bomb onto the Sejuani. Going to get the kill. Kale is still alive. She's and... still full health. Is she going to do anything? They're just going to get the mid in hip and back on out. And that will be a one for four here for the side of first or eighth. They're going to rotate top. See if they can break this tower with what little bear they still have left here. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they aren't just going for the end here. You know, Samira was healthy. Evelyn was healthy. Really, only the Ziggs was at a dangerous HP threshold. But they're going to play it safe. They're just going to gonna get this top tower. Maybe the top in him tower. But it looks like they're just going to back off after this with Mason already exploring the jungle, trying to get whatever of Cloud Slayer's camps he can get. And they're just going to leave. Oh. Ziggs is going to get the blue buff, but you know, this, after the not great early game, there's a Mega Inferno bomb just to take it faster. And after a not great early game from 1st or 8th, um, they were able to turn it around. You know, their bot lane started out, I believe Samira was literally 0-4, and is now 7-4. and four. Maybe it was 0-3, and three, but still a great turnaround from the Samira. You're seeing why a lot of people are Saying this champion is quite broken because she's getting a lot of damage down with, you know, some key ultimates in these team fights. Oh yeah, as the super waves break down mid lane here, first or eighth are going to slow the game down. They have about an eight k gold lead, seven to two in towers. Next Drake will spawn in about two minutes here. As. Uh, Nefarious NXT will kind of defend what shambles they have left of their base set. Going in a little bit deep, but looks like they're going to get the kill onto the Ziggs here. Going to have to face check. Not going to get too much else here. No objectives are up. They're going to have to try to clear these lanes out. Kale is almost level 16 here. She needs about two more waves before that happens. And once that happens, she will pretty much be online. We're going to have to see how that works. As set, we'll get chunked out a little bit with the rockets here. And we're going to have to see if this mm, Kaisa like the can kind of be back up with her old self. Yeah, Kale going for a more burst-oriented build with this Lich Bane third. You know, wants to really one-shot the Samira before she has a chance to lifesteal back up. One-shot the Evelyn before she disappears. 
Samira looks like Ziggs is going to potentially TP been caught right there. in here. Trying to clear out waves, <clears> trying to first or eighth, trying to siege up this tower here. With a Ziggs, it's so easy to take down towers. Level two satchel charge. That's about 30% of that tower's health gone with a single charge. And it looks like they're pinging. Nefarious is pinging bot. They're trying to get a little bit of an end gauge here. Will Samira have fast enough reaction with the blade world to cancel out the Sejuani ult? We're going to have to see as Kled does back. He has TP. He's not going to quite TP just yet. <clears throat> Lots of chunk coming down on both sides with that Ziggs there. So Drake will come up Ziggs in about 25 seconds here. He does have the Horizon Focus. That's a lot of damage, forcing the Donger to flash on out with the Super Mega Inferno Bomb coming down. Kale is level 16 here. Is the leveling going to be enough? And they're just going to give the Drake away again as the mid lane will get pushed out for the side of Nefarious NXT. Yeah, and um, you're seeing uh, first or eighth flaunt to this lead they have. You know, they team of NF, Nefarious NXT isn't really able to do anything even after that pick onto the Ziggs. They weren't really able to regain any map pressure off of that. I'd like to see First or Eighth just do the Baron here, you know? Ooh. Actually, we are seeing Nefarious NXT just run, try to get what little vision they can on it. They have a blue trinket on it from the Kaisa, but they aren't really going to get much else. Nefarious NXT did as they ping the Baron. They're going to try to bushwhack here, seeing what, if they can get whatever picks they can get. They're not going to push forward into the top river pixel brush here but they're gonna have to wait to see if somebody walks up Ooh, that's a very nice far sight there by the evelyn gonna spot all five of them and scryer is also gonna spot all five of them again evelyn is there in the wings seeing if they can get a little of something kaisa gonna push out the mid lane see if they can get a little bit of prio in this game that is slowly dwindling here evelyn's in the back line she's looking to get the kale or the kaisa gonna put the charm down Onto the Kaisa here. Kale's level 17 now. But the Kale does a lot of damage. She's gonna flash on forward. Wow, she got one jump by the Evelyn E. Gonna Kled's gonna charge on in here. Gonna see if he can get what he can get. That's a face breaker onto one. Hey Haymaker onto two. That's a Kale onto the Samir. Samir's gonna get chunked out. And she's dead. Kled is in the front line. See if he can heal up as much as he can, but Evelyn's gonna chunk out somebody else. Wow, that's a lot more damage. But Ziggs is going to flash on four. See if you can get the bombs down, but not quite landing anything. Using South to try to get forward here. <clears throat> Kled will get mounted up again. Gore Drinker taking her Leona down. It is Kaisa versus three. Can she defend the base long enough for the rest of her team to respawn? Wave is coming in, and they're it's just like going to back on out. Yeah, first or eighth. You know, scared to really just try to end the game. But, you know, that was a crucial mistake from the Kale there, not getting the ulti in time to stop the Evelyn burst. And it looks like they're actually going to go under the Baron. Uh, Kled does have TP. Kale is TPing well, in. She does have ult. Is she going to go in? Is she going to stall them long enough? Seth and Mira aren't here. Evelyn does not have the last correct. She's going invis. She has the charm on her. Super Mega Inferno Bomb oh? chunks her out. Charge is not going to quite land qu yet. But the, that's the KL all coming out. Are they going to get the Evelyn in time? Evelyn is going to die here. Kled is getting low. Gold Drinker coming out. He's going to mount back up, but he's not going to mount up back in time. <clears throat> Kale is really, really big. That's a crucial pick onto two frontliners for the side of... that. That's two true crucial kills there for the side They're of the just into the base. Are they going to do anything? Sejuani does have the ultimate. Is she going to look for the pick? Wow, that's a lot of damage on the mines here. The Double supers in the mid lane. So guys trying to end. But they're not going to end fast enough here. Set still has a showstopper. Going to flash in. Showstopper backwards here. No, he's going to go forward. He's going to go under the tower. Going to get the kill. Sejuani oh, whiffs. But the Samir is super low. Zig's going down. And that's a double kill there. That is a clean ace for the side of Nefaris and XT. They're going to push out mid. See if they can get the Baron here. And this is the only chance that they have. Gold League closed now. It's only about 4k for the side of 1st or 8th. Or Evelyn is up. If they're looking for the Baron, they're going to have to do a 50-50. <clears throat> Evelyn yeah, is Evelyn 3 levels ahead. She has last arrest. It's going to be very, time. very hard. Leona is going to have to try to zone her out. But how can you zone somebody when you can't see them? She's going to show up here right in front of the 
Leona here gonna try to stun her up as much as possible. Gonna go right in. Is she gonna get the seal? Not gonna get the seal. Kale secures the kill onto the Baron here. Donger is in the base, clearing out everything, and that would be a Baron for the side of <clears throat> Nefarious NXT. <laughs> Neither jungler actually got to use Smite there. Both of them are up. What a chaotic 50-50 that was. But yeah, just a little bit too aggressive from the side of first of eight. You know, I was talking about how I wanted them to try to end, but not like that. Not in a 5v3 situation. They got one Nexus turret, but now they're in a bit of a precarious position here as Kale has hit that level 18, hit that death cap. <sighs> She is really strong right now. Looks like there's going to be a fight over this dragon now. 30 seconds for the Drake. They have no... Nefarious has no wards, really. Right now, they're going to have to go into the dark against 1st or 8th. Evelyn is in the bot lane. She is backing here. So... But looks like Nefarious is just going to back off. They're just Looks like they might just give the Drake here. But for now, they're just going to back real quick, get a couple wards, see if they can spot out this Evelyn as fast as possible. Evelyn coming down. Mid is pushed out. For now, yeah, everybody... Evelyn just finished that death cap. Everybody She's real on strong. the side of Nefarious is here in their jungle. Everybody for first or eighth is in the river. They're going to have to see who will get this fight here. Cloud Slayer is only level the 14 here. Leona is in the back line. Sejuani just going to go straight in. Is she going to get the smite? Smite was early from Evelyn. That's a Cloud Soul over to Cloud Slayer. As the stun comes down. Kale's going to ult, but they're going to kill the set before he gets the showstopper out. Cloud's gonna, not going to heal up quite yeah. now. But the fire trigger is going to come down from the side of this Samir. They're going to get the kills. And that will be a clean. That will be an ace for the side of Nefarious NXT. They're going to push out mid here. Baron is still up. The Baron buff is still on them right now. Kale's going to go on mid, seeing if she can try to push this tower down without any minions. Backdoor buff not there quite yet. She might actually die. This is a little bit too aggressive. <sighs> but the death timers are, I think they are long enough, especially with the super minion wave, that they aren't going to be able to end the game. But it is going to be close. They've got the Baron minions up now, and they're at least going to get an inhibitor. I don't think they're going to go any further than that, though, but we'll see. This Kale is really strong, and they might try to brute force it. Yep, they're just going to break through, get the inhib. Oh, they're not going to get the inhib. Okay, Set is the only one that spawns. Surprising. The only other carry that's going to spawn it was in five seconds. They could have burst it down, take it, but they're going to rotate top, see if they can take these turrets. But it does not look like they're going to do that. They're just going to try to bushwhack. If they can get this pick... This kind of pick worked once. See if it works twice. We're going to have to see here. Sejuani is not there for the extra CC. They're going to ping top. Try to break down this top tier one. Kaisa oh, this is a and Donger are in the TV. bush here. But they're going to go right on in with the charge. Set's going to get chunked up. Haymaker coming down. Zenblade onto one. And the Kled will get chunked out by the Kaisa here. Ekathian Rain coming down onto him. And he's going to get rained out. Samira is cut off from the rest of our team here. There goes the Blade Whirl, but it's not going to block the Kale. They're going to go mid. Evelyn's going in. Last Caress getting the kill onto the Kaisa. Mid lane. In him is open. They're going to try to get it. <clears throat> Kled and Set dead for about another 20-something seconds. Evelyn's in the back lane. Kale does not have ult. If they land this charm, she's probably dead. And that's a lot of CC onto the Evelyn. They're going to get the kill onto the Evelyn. Then the Blade going onto Samira. Blade Whirl also coming out. She's going to get stunned up. Shield bow gonna get proc, but that's the Samira. She's gonna get stunned, and Kale will get the kill there onto the Samira, and that's a flash Q for the side for Sejuani. Leo still tanking the tower. Haymaker not gonna come out in time, and Ziggs will get the return kill onto Leona, and that will be a kill to Ziggs, and that will be the game-ending push for the side of the Fairies NXT. <sighs> man, cool. His game, uh -huh. man. These are crazy. What looked like it was going to be another easy 2-0 for the side of first or eighth is not going to be that way. It's a couple of maybe a bit too aggressive calls in the late game, and the level 18 Kale damage was able to propel them 